is a big, fat, horrendous lie. You glued those paper photos last week. You don't even know what the heck you do in this class half the time. Because you come in and focus on whoever else is around you, whatever else is going on. And I'm just sick to death of it. I'm in danger of vomiting right now. I'm so sick of it. So don't think that just because you come in here for the next two weeks, you know what you have to do. It's up to you to shoot it. It's up to you to give it to me when it's ready. We're still going to be doing stuff, but I'm not going to yell and scream and get mad at you because, frankly, you don't care. And let me tell you, you are going to care when you get your final second semester report card and you go from, like, you know, just because, like yesterday, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. But the people who evaluated yesterday, you didn't get full marks for your project, even if it was great photography, because in some cases it was three weeks late. You know, you think one or two points don't make a difference, but they do. <coughs> so really, I am not going to entertain phone calls from your parents. I am not going to entertain emails. I am not going to like have big, long-haired discussions about how could my kid go from having an A- minus to a C in this class because your kid didn't work the last four weeks. It's going to be my answer. And I'm not going to entertain your parents saying, well, why didn't you email me, me or tell me? Because your kid doesn't give a rat's ass. That's why. Because your kid really thought this was playtime. And I put up with it for as long as I could, and then I gave up too. <coughs> so sue me. You guys are just... I don't, I don't even want to say. You'll be hurt and you'll be upset. But you know what? I'm hurt and upset. If I really told you what I think of your attitude, <coughs> not what I think of you as but what I think of your attitude about this, your attitude about learning, your seriousness as students, your commitment to learning anything in this class, wow, I can spell it in one order word. And you know that. This is not news to you. If it is news to you, then we have been communicating in different languages. If anything I'm saying right now is news to you, you've never heard this before. You never knew I was so upset about your attitudes in this class. If you generally can raise your hand and say, I, I, I didn't know that my behavior was so bad, then, then one, of the, one of us ought not to be here. It either ought to be me or it ought to be you. And I know what I've done in this class. Like, think about what I'm asking you seriously. Rihanna's going to give some off-the-wall answer because she, your time, your timing, your sense of time is completely skewed. You don't know what you did last. You don't know what you did yesterday in this class, let alone what you did a week ago. But think about this question. If I said to you, when is the last time you really did some work for this course that you're proud of? How many of you would say a week ago? Raise your hands. How many of you would say three weeks ago? Raise your hands. How many of you would say two months ago? Raise your hands. Okay, then my question is going to be, what the hell have you been doing for the past two months? And why should your grade for me reflect any difference than what you say your own hands? You've raised and said, I really haven't done anything for about two, two months. Why do you think your grade should reflect that you have done something? So, I mean, as far as I know, this class meets every day, Monday through Friday. So for, for you to even say, well, it's been two or three weeks since I really did anything that I, since I really did anything, forget the part about that I like that I thought was good. I mean, for most of you, you know, I give you something. The deadline is now. There, there's no time after this. 
but for most of you, not all of you, I'm not talking about every single person in 